Hello everyone, welcome back to another Apples and Tiaras vlog. So I'm starting the vlog out in the car today because I just dropped cash off at my sister's hiking club and I'm gonna spend the day doing some shopping for school. Um, so I have two more weeks until I go back to work as a new to the district teacher. So I have to go back to like meetings and trainings and all that stuff um, on the 24th of July. So I have two weeks left um, and I'm gonna spend those two weeks spending time with family and working on the classroom because I wanna have my classroom completely set up before the 24th. That way, when I start meetings, I can really focus more on like all the other things. Um, and I'm gonna try to spend this next week on classroom, try to get it done. And then after that, I want to do planning and prepping. That way I'm completely ready for the first week of school and I'm like ready to go. So what I'm doing today is I'm running to Hobby Lobby. I have to pick up cash at one o'clock. So I have to leave Hobby Lobby around 1230. Um, 12, 15, 12, 20 ish. So I'm going to go in there and what I'm looking for today is I need some more better than paper paper. I think I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to do it, but I really want to do a shiplap feature wall on the back of my classroom wall. If you guys have been watching, you know that I have that like bulletin board wall on the back of my classroom. And I'm, I'm trying to like see if I really want to do it. I might, I might not, but once I get there and see what they have, we'll see how it goes. Um, but I also need to get like glue dots and ticky tack and like all the things that I'm going to need to set up my classroom. Um, and then I just want to see if they have any like cute lamps or like any other fun classroom stuff. I don't want to go in there and pick up like trinkets or like little decor pieces because they really just junk up the space. But I'm thinking too, like maybe some crates or like paper trays um, because I do want to have some more organization stuff. So anyway, I texted Jennifer to see if she was free, if she wasn't busy. I was like, hey, I'm going to Hobby Lobby. I don't know what you're doing right now, but I'm going. So I don't know if you want to meet up there or what, but we'll see. She just texted me back. So I'll take a peek and then we'll see if she comes. If she does, great. If not, I will take you guys with me to show you what I'm gonna be looking at at Hobby Lobby. And then the rest of this vlog is gonna be just a jumbo mix of classroom setup, classroom haul, like just all things classroom that I'm doing this week. Um, so I hope you guys are ready. Grab a snack, grab a drink get comfortable and let's start this vlog out right.
All right, so I am currently in my classroom and I'm working on filming another classroom setup video, but I wanted to do a haul of all the stuff I bought at Hobby Lobby, Amazon, and the dollar store for my classroom um, for this vlog. All right, so the first thing that I got was from the Dollar Tree and I just picked up these McCormick storage containers. These are for glue sponges. I got eight of them total. I'm hoping to have seven groups and then one for myself. So I did get eight of those. Okay, so the very first thing I got from Hobby Lobby was this planner. It's really cute. I don't know the brand, it doesn't really say, um, but it's really cute and I thought I can always use a paper planner to keep at school. So it's just this tie dye and kind of like sparkly um, theme. So I grabbed that, I think it was like 14 bucks on sale. Um, and then I also got, so my school's gonna be doing, um, they do brag tags school wide and class dojo as part of their incentive system. So I grabbed this because I thought it would be an easy way to store brag tags. I don't know for sure if they'll fit in there. If they do, great, if they don't, I'll find something else to use it for, maybe paper clips or you know other teacher supplies. So anyway, that was on sale for 15, uh, sorry, $14.99. So I grabbed that, we'll see what I use it for. Um, I'm hoping that brag tax will fit in there. Um, so the next thing I grabbed were these command hooks. I'm planning on using these to hang up my lights around my whiteboard. I always get these every uh, time I move classrooms and they work really great. You just stick them on the wall and then the lights kind of like click into them and it's perfect. Um, and then I grabbed some glue dots because I like to use these to hang up um, like paper around the room rather than using um, like holes, uh, like thumbtacks. And then I grabbed this glue dot dispenser. So you just reload these into here and then you can continue to use them. I like using those for like paper posters. <laughs> Um, and then I grabbed a cordless um, glue stick, or sorry, glue gun, um, for obvious reasons. I like to hot glue a lot of things up around the wall and stuff um, too. And then obviously some glue sticks to go with that. And then I grabbed some ticky tack, just another way to hang things up on the walls. Air fresheners for the car, those ended up in my bag. <laughs> And then from Hobby Lobby, I got some teal and black um, trim or border. This, you can like rip it apart and it becomes the thinner border. I like putting this on top of other border or behind other border just to make it look layered. So we'll see where I end up using this. I don't know if I'll use it across the whole back wall or not. We'll see, but either way it was on sale, so I grabbed it. And then, you guys are gonna laugh. I got um, this fluffy pen. I actually got like three of these because I've been wanting a fluffy pen for like my planner or like for grading or like taking notes or whatever. I just think it's really fun and I wanted a fluffy pen. So it was like a dollar. I was gonna buy these on Amazon but they were like seven bucks for like three of them and I found them at Hobby Lobby for a dollar. So grab that. All right, next is Amazon. So I got one of these. Um, I don't even know what it's called. I don't even know what it's called anymore, a space ball maybe. Um, but I got it as a breathing strategy tool or possibly like a talking chip for community circles. Um, the kids can fidget with it while they talk um, or if they need like a visual fidget, I can have this available for them. Exhibit A, do not drop it. Or break it. Um, and then the next thing that I got from Amazon were these paper pom poms. You guys have seen these in all my classrooms previously. I just put them on the wall on my bulletin boards just to kind of jazz them up. I'll probably put them on the corners of the windows, the corners of the wall or the bulletin boards. And then if I'm allowed to, I will hang some from the ceiling. That is what I've wanted to do with them for years. I've wanted to hang them from the ceiling. So we'll see if I'm allowed to do that. I know I can hang the um, light magnet like covers up there. So I'm guessing I can hang these as well. Um, it just probably just depends on how low they can be. And I know there's no like motion alarm or sensor in these classrooms. Um, so I can hang this without like the wind or the air conditioning blowing it around and setting the alarm off. So that's great. And then another thing from Amazon. 
These are like shoved in here. That's so funny. They are hard to open. Wow. These are birthday hats. Uh, what? Do you want to see? Yeah. Okay. I'll show you. They're all squished in here. That's all right. Oh, will you grab those? So I wanted to like mix up how I celebrate students' birthdays in the classroom. And I thought it would be really cute to get like a goofy birthday hat for them to wear at school for the day. And then they also came with matching glasses, which I'll probably pop out the lenses and just make them like day glasses instead of sunglasses. Because they're just cute and fun. And the lenses pop right out and then the kids can just wear, <laughs> they break really easy too, <laughs> super cheap. Um, there's an opening. So they'll wear this and then the hat to go with it um, when it's their birthday. I thought that'd be really cute. Ooh. I don't usually do much for birthdays and I thought, what is something I could do for everyone's birthday that's not gonna cost me any money or like is very low effort and like. Where's the opening? So I got two. They came in a pack of two, uh, white and blue, and then pink. Here, let's try it on you. Oh, <laughs> way too big on you. Luckily, my fourth grader's heads are a bit bigger. But yeah, so I got those. And then I also ordered some chalk paint. Um, this is just like the Rust-Oleum brand chalkboard paint because I do need to touch up my cabinets. Hopefully this works if it doesn't um we will see i think my teammate might be able to let me know what paint was used on these um so i'm crossing my fingers that this will actually work on my cabinets if it does not match i could just buy a couple more cans of this and it, i could probably just cover them um so we'll see mom, mom. yeah oh well, there you go do it in front of the camera and then, this is like my new favorite thing. Oh, can you grab that baby? That thing that fell. It is a neon sign. And I contemplated like getting my own name in the neon sign or just getting like a fun phrase. So I ended up getting good vibes only. And it looks like you can like stick it to the wall. It comes with these, um, these things but I'll probably end up just hanging it um, somewhere else. Uh, but it does plug in USB, and I don't know where I'm gonna put it yet, possibly over my desk somewhere, like over there in the corner, um, but it does light up in pink neon, so I thought that would be really cute for my classroom this year. And then, what is this? I don't even remember. Oh, okay, this isn't really like. Mom, are you ready? What? <laughs> There you go, good, giving it a trial run. Um, so with my new computer, do it. it's okay. Put it in your ear, there you go. Um, with my new district oh. computer, uh, my old keyboard actually ended up breaking. So I ordered a new one and I really like these. They're super nice for like, if you're carrying your computer around and you don't wanna like type on it or you know, whatever. You want to have it propped Mom. up. It's just a basic like Bluetooth. Mom, this doesn't fit. Anyway, it came with a keyboard and I believe this lights up and then it came with a matching mouse. So I'll be using this with my new district Mom. computer. Okay, do a dance in front of it. Okay, so last but not least, I ordered these really cute canvas posters from Amazon. Um, sorry, I'm kind of like, just put them in the box. Um, so I grabbed these, they're these cute little canvas posters and they're all science. Science is in your DNA, think like a proton, always positive, ask, imagine, plan, create, test, and prove. Nothing is impossible. Um, so I ended up grabbing some frames for them um, from Hobby Lobby and I tried to find them on sale and they ended up being like 50% off, I think, which was great. So let's see if they fit in here. So the frames ended up fitting perfectly, which is great. 
They'll probably hang these up around the room somewhere. I just think they're really cute and very like sciencey. Um, and I needed something like bright um, that kind of fit my like classroom vibe. And so the frames were 50% off. So I did grab four of them, one for each of the pictures. And then the final thing that I got from Amazon was this adorable rug. It's like almost like velvety. Um, and I'm planning on putting this up front in front of the TV, just on the floor as a space for kids to sit no. on. Um, and so it's like, no. he's fine. No. It's like, I think it's like non-slip here um, and it's pretty thick. I'm probably gonna end up having to spot clean it cause their shoes will be all over it, but it is what it is. Um, I just thought it was really cute and it totally matches like the vibe of my classroom with the pinks and the blues and the oranges. And so anyway, I got that off of Amazon too.